Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this CarTech video. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you this tool here. This is what the Peugeot and Citroen garages, dealers, and company as a whole do not want you to see. They do not want you to know about this tool um, because basically, in a nutshell, it is their enemy. It is something that will allow you as a user to save money and it stops them as a company getting hold of your money, taking money out of your pocket. Um, this tool will ultimately save you a lot of money if you have a Peugeot or a Citroen vehicle. And the good news is everybody, every one of you can get one of these. Um, now yes, I'm gonna tell you where you can get it from before we get into the video in a little bit more detail. Uh, it's available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'm gonna put a link to this in the description below this video. So. Let's say, for example, you know, you have a warning light on your dashboard. Now, we're in a Peugeot, as you can see here, and we have a check engine light, we have an ABS light, and an airbag light. Three are probably the, the main warning lights that you are likely to encounter on the dashboard of your vehicle. So what happens when you get one of these? Well, if you're not mechanically minded or you don't really know a great deal about cars, which, let's face it, there are millions and millions of people who are not and wouldn't necessarily know where to start. Um, the first thing to do would be either to call your local garage or to call a Peugeot or Citroen dealer and what they will do is they will they will say yes okay and um, we can we can deal with that for you but we need to book you in to get it hooked up to the diagnostic tool so um, what they're doing is by getting you booked in they're already getting 50 60 pounds out of you just for hooking their tool up to your vehicle that diagnostic check now is pretty much standard on every single garage visit um, there's no way no way on this planet earth that they will ever tell you to go out and get one of these because like I say even to a local garage this is the enemy so they're never gonna tell you to go out and get one of these tools because it stops them from making money and it means you can actually you know, possibly solve this fault yourself um, if you want to give it a go or if you want to maybe learn about your car so as I say they're gonna book you in they're gonna charge you money just for this now I'm gonna show you what this tool can do to these warning lights here um, in case you didn't know this is a diagnostic tool it's called an OBD2 scan tool this one here is specific for Citroen and Peugeot vehicles um, and it will it's designed basically to hook up to the diagnostic port I'm not sure if you can see there uh, right there I think that's it um, it's hooked into the diagnostic port of this vehicle and that's what gives it its power so um, let's say for example we wanted to go in first of all let's diagnose that airbag light so what I'm going to do is click on to diagnostics click on to Peugeot and then we're going to go through and select our vehicle I guess you could also say this is a, a kind of a review for this tool. Um, 206, and we're going to manually select, go in and select the airbag system. So, click into read fault code. And we've got a fault here of 0A02, level of driver circuit module trigger two short circuit. So um, what you really do, if, if that doesn't really make any sense to you, which I can imagine it probably wouldn't, all you need to do is just type this information into Google and it'll tell you exactly what the problem is. So we created this fault in actual fact. We've, we've um, set up this fault. There are connections behind the airbag. The airbag is situated here. So we've took this off. There's a connection there and a connection there on the other side. We've just simply loosened one of the connections then put it back in that has triggered the airbag light so and this is the fault code we've been getting for it so let's say for example you put this into Google it told you that the right hand side connector on the, the other side of the airbag was loose it would tell you to sort of take it out and make sure it's seated correctly and then what you could do is use this tool come back in click on clear fault memory and when I click OK to this message just keep an eye on that airbag light there there we go. The airbag light has gone, array's operation done. It's as simple as that. That is what some, maybe a garage would charge you 50, 60 to hook that up, and maybe another hour's labor, and if they wanted to order a part as well, you know, you could be looking at 250, 300 pounds just for that alone. Let's go and do it again on a different system. So here we have the ABS warning light. Again, this is a fault that we have triggered ourselves and we've uh, we simply disconnected an ABS sensor and we've 
connected it back up but obviously the uh, the warning light is still there the fault code will still be here as well so we've got C1330 uh, right hand front wheel sensor signal fault a wheel sensor is an ABS sensor or a speed sensor um, again simple fault in a garage situation uh, garage environment what they will do is they will charge you 50 60 to hook this up they will charge you probably I don't know 70 80 pounds for the ABS sensor itself and then another hour's labor to actually um, fit the part and get it back to you so you're looking at maybe let's say 60 let's say another 60 120 and let's say another hour's labor that's 50 so that's let's say 170 pounds for that fault well you can buy these sensors yourself online these sensors probably cost about 10 to 15 pounds in reality so it shows you the markup the garages are making and then we'll click on to clear fault memory and once again when I click enter here just keep an eye on that ABS light actually what you need to do on this one is come out of the ABS system watch it watch it now it should turn off there we go goodbye ABS light so already We've finished, um, we've done two warning lights with this tool in a space of about three or four minutes. Uh, the last one, the last warning light, this is probably the most common light you'll get is a check engine light. And this is done really, really easily. You can go in by and sort of diagnose this fault by selecting your vehicle, but this tool has an option built in specifically just for engines. So if we click onto this one here, OBD2 E OBD, click onto that. This is specifically for engine faults. And again, the same situation, we simply unclipped an injector electrical connection and uh, we popped it back in, we put it back in, but it has created the fault and it has created the check engine light. So uh, we've got codes one. So let me show you the code that we've been getting. P0204, cylinder four, injector A circuit. So we unclip the electrical connection on the injector four, but we put it back in. The car's running absolutely fine, but obviously we still have the check engine light and the fault code. Now this works a little bit differently uh, in that what we need to do here is just come back out of that. We need to turn the engine off, but keep the ignition on. And then we need to go back in to the check engine section here. So we've got the same information here and we've got uh, we we'll just go straight into erase codes actually erase codes ignition on with engine off talking to vehicle emission related diagnostic information has been erased okay so then you've what we do now is just switch the engine back on and keep an eye on the check engine light a few seconds after it turns on there we go check engine light has gone so in the space of about five minutes there we've managed to clear three warning lights now that particular check engine light there you know that could be something it, there's so many sensors within the engine module it could it's impossible to predict unless you've got one of these tools or you take it to a garage so let's say a garage are going to charge you 60 pounds to hook the tool up let's say they've identified a fault you know sometimes these sensors can cost up to 200 pounds but i'm going to say moderately let's say a new part was we'll say 80 pounds so 80 plus 60 is 140 pounds and then another 50 to 60 well it's, it's say 50 to 25 hours labor so you're looking at 175 to 200 pounds ish labor just for that check engine light alone this tool here costs 99 pounds and this is ultimately what like I say the garages will absolutely hate videos like this being made because it takes the power out of their hands and it puts the power into your hands you know you could go on it goes on with lots more information it gives you live oh, I've got a bit of a link error there but it gives you uh, live data you can go in and choose live data um, as I say it covers Citroen and uh, Peugeot vehicles so if I was to like select Citroen here it's going to give us a list of all of the different uh, Citroen model, uh, sorry, Peugeot models that it covers. Look at all of these vehicles that this tool covers. Yeah, the garages don't want you to know that. They want you to book it into them. Um, so I'm going to leave you with this video, with this information. 
also covers Citroen as well that's uh, another beauty of this tool and it also does uh, oil service reset and steering angle sensor as well so I'll leave you with that information it's obviously it's it's all up to yourself whether you feel confident enough to use one of these tools and maybe get your hands dirty um, it's generally seen as more of a, a male thing to do to sort of uh, use one of these tools and get your hands dirty and maybe try and fix a part but honestly I, I kid you not you may get a fault say for example whatever the fault is you could go on YouTube or go online and I guarantee you there will be a guide on how to fix that part how to replace that part or a sensor and then come back into the vehicle reset the fault codes and you're done you get rid of the warning light I guarantee you it's that easy but a lot of people well I can understand people maybe don't have the time to do that which is absolutely fair enough but people who do want to save money give it a go themselves and of course once you've used this tool once or twice yourself then you've got it for life you know um, oh one thing I will do actually as well as I want to show you something else and that is this tool here because this is um, this is the next step up from this tool so that's the CP version 1.0 this is the FR version 2.0 now this kit here will do exactly the same as what this kit will do but this kit has additional functions so let me just I know I'm probably going on a bit here and you probably want this video to end but I do just want to show you I'm just hooking this up here so um, this tool here as I say is exactly the same but if we look into the service option of this one here we've got oil reset electronic park and brake battery registration new battery electronic throttle control steering angle sensor DPF ABS brake bleeding and injector coding so you get more functions with this tool here so um, these are two of the, uh, the the Citroen and Peugeot garages and all the sort of local garages really uh, this is the enemy to those guys because this is what's going to stop them from getting your money and this is what's going to keep more money in your pocket but they, uh, both of these tools, they are available, as I say, at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. And I'm going to put a link to, I'll put a link to both of these kits, in fact, um, in the description below this video. I hope this video has helped you. Like I say, uh, our only intention here is to save you guys money, allow you to do these things yourself instead of paying over hand over fist to a garage. Um, not, it's not so bad with a local garage because you know they are they are businesses uh, so just like you I guess um, Peugeot and Citroen garages I know they do charge a lot more so uh, maybe prevent you from booking it into one of those guys uh, but I hope it helps fantastic tools really really recommend them and uh, yeah thanks for watching this car tech video and I will see you on the next episode see you soon